Hogan put in a magazine or something. Roddy Piper. This is a lot of take, not much give. I guess <laughs> you're damn right. <laughs> Isn't that the idea? I have more respect for Piper than most most of any of the guys that I've worked with. He gave the people too much for their money. There came a, a very distinct time when we had a falling out. I don't think anybody had ever said that to him before. Uh, he, he got quite mad. It changed the locker room setting in wrestling. Oh, Piper was crazy. You weren't sure about Roddy. You knew he was a nut. That was the hottest angle in wrestling business. Well, Mr. T and I didn't get along at all. Me and Piper already put our heads together, and if he tried anything, we would have done it then. I said, you give me a bow tie and a lunch stand five weeks, if I don't get the job done, I'll get out. Hey, well, the heck, it was great. It did nothing but business. I lost the hearing, uh, some of the hearing in my left ear. <laughs> we knocked the hell out of each other. Broke my right foot in five places and my left foot in three places. And he hits me again, I hear this pop. And he broke his hand and I had a bad concussion from all the crap he was doing to me. And I could just see the blood coming out. I had been electrocuted. He about broke my eardrum. If you're going to pass the torch, I can't think of anybody better. Uh, it was a, a, a house of ill repute on wheels. But he landed in jail over dropping elbows on a taxi cab. Well, was Piper here tonight? No, because what happened? He goes, well, they got arrested, him and Bob Horton. We almost got killed, right? Which is like, give a police $500. A lot of party and a lot of drugs. Began a huge reputation for me for never taking a dive right there. And I didn't even know there was a problem. <laughs> He says, you are a detriment to the business. You're running the business. And he walked in, I just said, get the hell out of here. Somewhere down the road, before the week's out, I'm gonna wind up kicking his ass. I knew that. The end of her career could be the beginning of yours. I said, I used to respect you. I thought, I think you're a jabroni. And I went in there just to confront him, like, what the f are you thinking? When the f I got my restroom. And he jumped up like he was gonna come. It was always some kind of a new dilemma. Piper did this last night. Will y'all get out and shut the trunk in about 20, 30 miles? Get me out of this county. He got out and saved those old folks' life. He got out. I saved my own life. <laughs> I don't know how I would be able to thank you.